Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's Sunday, October 7th of 2018, and it's uh, 1.30 a.m. in the morning. And I'm recording this, well, I no longer have a Windows computer because of, now I know I've told you many times that I'm done with Windows, because of Windows Build 1809, which was made available to the public on October 2nd. Today is October 7th. Uh, everybody was waiting for that release, uh, 1809. Uh, it was codenamed Redstone 5 and was the sixth major update to Windows 10 and the fifth in a series of updates under the Redstone code name. Uh, everybody, that was the, the end of that series or whatever. That was supposed to be it. And it was released. I didn't know that um, it wasn't being pushed out and mandatory until I think the 8th or the 9th or something like that. I just happened to go and do a check on Windows to see if there was a new release and then I saw that 1809 was available and so I downloaded it. It took a long time to do the install, a long time. I wish I'd have waited and I really wish I'd have waited and uh, then when it, you know, did the reboots, when it finally did the last reboot, and I thought, okay, it crashed uh, my hard drive or whatever. I, let's see, I, um, here, let's see. Here is the video that I made two days ago, crash installing Windows 1809 today. And uh, then I was using what I'm using now uh, I installed, I went back and, I went back and I put Windows back on the computer and installed it. And I noticed it didn't update to 1809. It stopped at 1803, and that's where it had been before. And, uh, anyway, this video here I reported on it and said that I was done with Windows. Like I said, I've said that to you many times before. Um, oh, the error I got was error. No partition, no such partition entering rescue mode, a grub rescue. That's a, that's a message you don't want to ever hear or read on your screen. So, Sorry, I'm kind of hungry. Um, I put Windows 10 back on. Then I looked at what I would have to do to install all the programs that I pay for, uh, that I purchased, or that I'm paying monthly for. Windows, Adobe, all that. I'm still paying for them, by the way, but I just said to myself, no, I've had it, that's it. So I formatted and I put Linux on here, Met, Cinnamon Met. And that's what I'm using now. I'm using Kazam for screen capture. And then I have, haven't tried it yet, but if I decide to edit the video, I'll use Caden Live as the uh, video editor. By the way, yes, I know OBS for screen capture does work. I've paid for it. I own it or for a long time, whatever. But it's a little over my head, so I'll... I'll uh, 
probably eventually get around to trying it again, you know, trying it in Linux. So I'm running Linux. No, I, um, I'm not going to uh, have a dual boot system. I've done that for years, probably before some of you were born. If I put Windows on here too, and you know, dual boot, then I'll just start using, you know, because all the things I want to do, like screen capture and all that, I've paid good money for good programs on Windows, but I've had it at this point with Windows. So I'm using Linux right now. Uh, usually you see my, you see what's, like what the news is. You can have an idea when you watch these videos of what was going on when, when Jim said that for the 50th time that uh, he was doing away with, you know, doing away with Windows. You'll know from looking here at the screen what time that was in the life of the legend Jim Howard. So let me update you on what's going on. By the way, I, I switched keyboards yesterday again, and I'd switched keyboards a day or two before that and a day or two before that. Uh, this keyboard is not, it's a desk keyboard. And uh, it is not lit, not illuminated. I, uh... Now the other keyboard that I have does not have uh, just a dial for audio, up and down or whatever. I have to use function F3, four keys or something, like you know. So. Not sure what I'm going to do with that, but let me update you on what's, the, um, by the way, this, my, this keeps track for the last 28, all well, I can do it, I can do it for any period, you know, show, but, um, this has been climbing, the, the amount that I make for, uh, from YouTube for 28 day period, it's climbed up a little bit, so that's, that's good. I mean, it hasn't climbed up enough that it, uh, I spend more, much, much more. Um, so anyway, the, the crash, oh, yeah, I better get back to 1809. Uh, right after it crashed on me, I guess it crashed major, major time for lots and lots of people and Windows is no longer, it's no longer available. 1809 is not available for. Uh, the problem with Windows, I mean, my Windows computer was working fine, was working well, and I liked the way everything. The problem is that f since the very beginning of Windows, they put out software that uh, has major problems bugs and major problems in it and you're expected to deal with it and just fix it and wait for them to fix it and they'll fix it and they'll add new functions and then you'll have you know they'll push out some more crap to you and you're just expected to take it uh, people should never have paid for it until they fixed it and they have never fixed it uh, so for right now, I'm using Linux. So let me tell you what uh, I'm using. I mentioned this. I'm using Cheese as the camera program. And the camera is the uh, Logitech uh, Bros, whatever the expensive one, USB webcam. It's hooked up. Um, I'm using Kazam for screen capture. Um, and if I decide to edit some stuff together here, I'm going to use, uh, Kate and Live. And 
So I have, I moved my, you know, my computer has always been up here. I moved the universe, the uh, UPS unit up here, the power backup. Just had a pain in my eye. We have a couple of really small gnats in here. Not sure if one flew in my eye or not. Uh, I moved the UPS unit up here, the power supply thing, because I'm always plugging and unplugging things, and it's on been on the floor, and I have arthritis in my back and shoulders and neck area, and it's agony just to bend over or stoop down. So I put it up here so I don't have to bend down. We'll see how that goes. But I do like to have as much desk space as I can. So I'm using one monitor, and this is the 4K monitor. This is the LG 4K monitor. But I'm not using it in 4K mode. Now, I may, I've may i messed with it. I have used it in, uh, in uh, 4K mode, and it looks nice. I've used it in 4K. You know, I use it in 4K mode sometimes. With Windows 10, I used it in 4K mode when I've hooked up my Chrome box, and it works well in the Chrome box. And I've used it uh, with Linux. But right now, I just want to do what I need to do, and then I'll get into maybe operating it in 4K mode. My ex-wife, who we share, and my grown son, we share this apartment, and her LG... TV went bad. She got in one, and that's she got in a 55 inch and uh, 4K, and uh, she is. Well, I'm not supposed to talk about her. Uh, she uh, she can be a pain in the rear when it comes to things like television and the way it's supposed to appear and that kind of stuff. So I wondered what she was going to, she loves 4K. I thought, oh my God, please, you know, well, please one, let the um, TV work okay because she, you know, she paid for it but ordered it on my Amazon account. And I reckon we, she had a fourth, she had a LG before. She's an LG now. It's a Ro, she had a Roku before. You know, LG, Roku, TV, and so please, I was, you know, let it work. Uh, and so 4K, and she loves 4K now. And I I was thought that she might not even, you know. And uh, then also she was talking about the, the tremendous difference in the color. How the So she watched a couple things that she'd watched before, and she said the color was so much better. And I, just, uh, I think that's for what HDR, or whatever that is, high definition or whatever. And it, uh, I don't watch her TV except her TV is when I go into the kitchen, dining room area or whatever. I have to pass it. But I, it does look better to me. The 4K looked good, and uh, the color range looked good and everything. So she's happy. And for the first time. Since she moved in here, she hooked up her, uh, or my son hooked up for her, uh, a Wii unit, I think it is, and she's playing Zelda or something, and she's happy with that, so I'm happy that she's happy. Um, so I have my 4K monitor LG, which I am not using in 4K mode right now, and I again move stuff around. That's the only monitor that is hooked up to the desktop computer. My desktop computer is an i5. I really need, it would be great to have a i7 or something or other. Uh, here is my TCL 34 inch, I believe, uh, Roku TV that I have. And it's been all over this room. It was a day or two back behind me. I've got it here now, and uh, so that's that's about the situation of what's going on right here with me. 
As you can see, I'm almost to 2,600 subscribers. Just need two more people to subscribe. Uh, I've been at 2,500 and, wait a minute, that's not right. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. I'm at uh, 2,598. Oh, okay. Uh, I told you about the video I did on, which has had 159 views on the crash the other day. Uh, I made a video the other day of Hillary, my daughter. Okay. She said, this is fun. <laughs> I'll put a uh, I had never, I think she paid $250 for those uh, kangaroo jumping shoes, or whatever they're called. I had never uh, seen them, never heard of them, and I uploaded this video. And when I uploaded the video, because I uploaded it, then when I went to YouTube or whatever, it showed other videos on people using the kangaroo jump and other there's other brands out there I had no idea that such a thing existed and uh, I've watched a whole bunch of videos of people doing it in gyms uh, for you know physical train for the training or whatever I'm not about to do it but it looks like fun I'm just watching the the video of the people doing their, you know, exercises, coordinated exercises someplace, jumping on those things up and down and doing those routines. It looks like fun. I have never been a dancer, uh, line dancer. That's sort of, I'm watching that and I'm thinking, you know, I've seen, I watched for a while line dance, uh, people doing line dancing. And I thought that looked like, you know, that looked like fun. But I never did that. So, I think my audio and everything is working okay. And that's it. It's uh, 1 41 p.m., no, a.m. Well, right over there, because I've got the screen thing, I, it's that, my TCL TV, when it's the screen saver pops up, it has the time. So, uh, what else is on the project? Since I moved the TV from back there, on that table, that my chair is in the way and at the back of it. Help, I can't get it out of the way. With that table there, I need to uh, need to put some stuff on that. Some uh, uh, chargers and stuff for uh, batteries and that type of stuff. Right now, I'm spread out. The uh, Google Wi-Fi is working. Let me do that for you, and then we'll call it a day. Speed. There we go. As you know, uh, I got upgraded, or well, I got upgraded for free to. Um, I had eighty down and five up, and got my spectrum got updated to two hundred down and 10 up and when I found that for free they did that for customers for free and uh, then I contacted them and I paid $25 more and I now have 400 down and 20 up and I'm happy finally finally I have some internet speed so I, I purchased one Google Wi-Fi unit, 
there you can just, no, you can't see it. It's over. I don't think that. I need to hook up a sep second camera and uh, whatever. But um, let's see settings results. Here we go. Um, so um, anyway, I purchased one of the Google Wi-Fi. I highly recommend it. <coughs> I'll put a link below to them. But I purchased one. That's all I need. This is a small apartment. I put one in, in there. And then I bought a second one. And I have it on top of the, my little refrigerator that's over there, right behind this computer. Also, I've uh, had, well, I guess I've had three. I don't know. Voice over IP things for years and years and years. Been totally confused over the years about when I've tried to go make a change to one thing, what, which one is this? And I would change it. No, no, I just changed the one for the other, you know, whatever. Turns out, I guess I had three voice over IP accounts that I was paying for. I didn't know I had three, one of them using the same phone number. So when I rearranged things and went to move this stuff around, oh, what I did too was when I got the uh, high-speed service from Spectrum, I uh, called to see how much is a phone because I was having trouble with a voice over IP, con con you know. And I called and they said ten dollars a month, and I said sign me up. So I we have over the we have the phone service now. That's Darlene. That's you know I've, that's her phone now. And uh, so. Then I've been working on these voice IP numbers for the first time. And so I think I've got it down to one voice over IP. And <clears throat> I was using a different number for that. But I'm going to use my Google uh, voice number for that. So that's why you see this, which I never use the phone. I have a lot of hearing difficulty. So that's why you see this phone back here. So, what I'd like to do, except I refuse to, although I'm paying for it, and I don't even know how to stop paying for it. Uh, what is the phone service or the internet that everybody uses? And I've been paying for them for years. I have no idea even how to. I think I have two accounts. I have no idea how to even stop it. Um, but I think about doing, I've been thinking about for a long, for years, about doing YouTube videos of interviews. And they would use the phone and, a, and the cam, they would use a phone and a camera and uh, just do interviews with people that, are, that I've known, uh, people that are interesting, and just people doing YouTube videos stuff like that so it's something I might like to do but I just don't want to use whatever that service is but that's the service to use so anyway you can see the uh, speeds here the um, Uber now uh, here it is Google Wi-Fi. Let's see if this will. This is the app for my Google Wi-Fi. There you go. Oops. It's kind of bright. I need to arrange. I took down the big over. That Yeah, we do need more light here, don't we? Well, so this is the app that you use. Really interesting for setting your thing up and really interesting for setting your, you know, your Wi-Fi up. There again, I'll put a link below. Um, the Wi-Fi unit Google you get is they're hundred dollars a piece. I think three of them are, and you get a group all in the same box. 
I think three or 250 I've already purchased. I bought one and then I, I wanted another one. And I'm hooked into, that's one reason I wanted, hooked into uh, Ethernet cable into my computer instead of Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi was fast. But anyway, so that's what's going on here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Finish recording.